Let's hit the road! Yeah! All right, here we go. Today, we're heading south to Los Angeles, California to the world famous Sunset Strip. Los Angeles has launched some of the biggest bands in the world, bands like The Doors, Van Halen. You didn't think I'd forget them. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Guns N' Roses, and many, many more. And one of the most notorious rockin' groups out of the Los Angeles Sunset Strip area is Motley Crue. And we're gonna go see Tommy Lee. We're gonna hang out with him. We're gonna go to his house. We're gonna talk some old stories. He's gonna tell me how it all began. Talk about the whiskey a go-go. Talk about the rainbow. And we're gonna jam. Woo, my favorite part. Let's go. Come on. Right here on the Sunset Strip with my buddy Michael Anthony. Woo, in the house. <laughs> Mike, a lot of history here, man. It all came down right here. We got the Viper Room, the whiskey. You got the Rainbow. You got the Roxy. House of Blues, in the house. Right there. People in the old days, in the 70s and 80s, would be walking down this thing. Everybody looked like a rock star. What's up? <laughs> now we're on the Sunset Strip. Oh, man. you were in Hollywood as soon as you hit the Tower Records because you yeah. come around the bend and there was Tower Records that right there. That was the beginning, that was the heart. That's when you knew you were there, Yeah, that you were here in Hollywood. Tinseltown, movie location tours. It's all right here. It's all right here. Oh, Tower Records, here it is. Right, right here, this was the old Tower Records right here. And it's still for lease. Look at that. The most famous record store down here in Southern California was right there. Bands used to play there. Yeah. In the parking lot. Yep. Yeah. Whiskey a go go. Come on, the whiskey a go go. Here we are at the world famous whiskey a go go. A rocking joint here, right on the Sunset Strip right in the heart of Hollywood, California, okay? Now, more things happen inside this place. I've saw more bands here. Every great band that during my era, and, and my era, played here. Well, what about the gig we did here? Uh, we were trying to do some secret thing for a while, right? In 93, we were, we were gonna do a secret gig, but I remember it was like no advertising, nothing. If anybody's walking by, they could come into the place and, and watch us play, but we weren't, that was the whole thing. That was pre-internet. Before yeah. the internet, you know, yeah. the word didn't get out as easy. So, so instead we of, every, so instead of everybody low. tweeting about it, like the day before the show, they put it up on the marquee. Van Halen here tomorrow night. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> 10,000 people trying to get it in this little mother. There were like thousands of kids all out here on the street, and somebody told me, they said, hey, you gotta go down to the Palladium, down that way to get a wristband to get in and thousands of kids are just bum-rushing, right? They're bum-rushing Sunset <laughs> Boulevard. They blocked the whole strip off, yeah. fire department came and shut the whole thing down. News teams, cameras, you know, helicopters, police. Then they shut us down. We did we play, to, we played we about play four, four songs. songs. Yeah. Hey, come on, let's go let's inside. Go let's check it let's, out. Let's go see what has really happened here. See if yeah. the walls still, if the walls can talk. Let's go find oh, out. Oh, boy. <laughs> check this place out. Mm -hmm. Look at my man in next to This was the club in L.A. If you played yeah. here, to me, <clears throat> growing up, the bands that played here, they had already made it. I thought they were already rich and famous. Yeah. Little do I know that they were probably starving to death, all sleeping in the same room and driving in a station wagon across country with their gear in the back, right? <laughs> oh, like what, like cream, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> you saw cream here, right? <laughs> yes, I saw cream. I actually walked up and bought a ticket, drove all the way from San Bernardino with some buddies, and we bought a ticket and walked right in. I stood right there, I had Eric Clapton, Ginger Baker, Jack Bruce, I'm mm -hmm. just eye contact with Eric Clapton, who was you know, my hero of all time. And I wanted to play guitar, and I was starting to learn to play, but I didn't have a guitar. The next day, I went home, went to my favorite music store, and sat outside that place and watched till that guy left the counter, I ran in and grabbed a Les Paul off the wall and started playing guitar. 
The you next day I stole. A song off of something like well, that experience like that. I don't like it to get around. I don't want kids coming to my music store and stealing my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Just another day on the Sunset Strip at the Whiskey A Go Go. Mikey, thanks for joining me. We're going to meet up with you later at Tommy's house, yep. do some jamming. Out of sight. Certainly. Okay. We're going to go to Tommy's house. We're going to snoop around. We're going to jam. We're going to have some more fun. Woo! Here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rock and Roll Road Trip with me, the Red Rocker Sammy Hagar, and I am here at Atrium Studios with Tommy Lee, Michael Anthony. He's gonna join us on a little jam. We're gonna go in and we're gonna jam and woo! Let's go. Let's make some music. <laughs> all right, all right. Beat down. All right, all right. <laughs> on a guitar player trying to sing and play like that. Man, I've never sang and played that song. I always have another guitar player. Boy. Oh, shit. I have to say, well, hey, y'all. Nice job, honey. Nice job. Touch yourself a little bit, brother. I'm going. Hey. Uh, I, felt like, I felt like Paige and Bland at the same time. You know? <laughs> Sounded awesome, man. Fucking uh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I finally got to play that shit with you guys, man. That's cool. OK. We played together. What, what we we played rock candy in Cabo, but with another guitar player. I used to just sing, right? You yeah. Know? yeah. But Tommy, you kicked that off pretty hard, man. You 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 know Carmasi, right? Oh yeah. I mean, hell yeah. Not too many guys have that foot. No. Uh, it's that the guys that let you go. It's like ba 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 do go taco. There's where the one is. Excuse yeah. me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a day's work, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Tommy Lee on the drums. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Matt Anthony on the bass. That's right. 
Thank you. And, and, and your host. Yours truly, at your service. The Red Rockers. Yes, at your service. At your service. <laughs> that was fucking rad. Service. That was fucking <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm telling you, this studio, Tommy, you got a little vibe going on here, man. It's like the close quarters and everything. You know, you got all the mics in the different, I mean, all the amps out of here. Yeah. And you can just get the badass drum sound and still have the feel together. Right. It's strong. That's Thanks, man. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Uh, <laughs> that was fucking oh, fun, man. man. Hey, come on, that's the real steel right here. No oh. rehearsal. Real deal. Woo! Are we having any fun yet?